this is a 95 K40 I think it was built around the 1930s or 1940s she's a noisy old girl it's got the Hoover motor and the mechanical clutch with the leather belt drive it has the um, uh, tension device that actually is released when you lift the foot which is pretty good and um, I've had to adjust the the needle bar up a little bit to take the universal needle so it had a, a shorter setting originally but this is her uh, running so the slow movements you can't actually feel very very well through the pedal when you're actually starting to stitch which is a bit of a bit of an annoyance but once you actually start stitching She goes like a rocket. So this is a full production machine, I'd say, used in factories for making articles of clothing, probably shirts and dressing gowns and those sort of things. It handles this light fabric very, very, very well. Um, so, but the surprising thing is, there we go, we're running through this very fine fabric. I run off the end. Okay, I haven't made any adjustments to the tension or anything like that. This is a bit of veg tan leather. And she does it beautifully. So I'll just show you the stitch on the back as well. turn her off now. Like I said, she's a noisy old girl. Yeah, she'd do a lot um, a lot better job for the sort of work I do um, with a, a, a servo motor, which I will fit. But, you know, if you look at the quality of the stitch there, it's, it's great. Doesn't have a huge stitch length. Uh, Probably, I don't know, maybe eight stitches per inch. Um, is the maximum. The minimum, of course, can be just straight up and down. Um, it does have the the bolt holes for for a binding foot or some form of gauge. So I'll fiddle around. Maybe I'll use this for uh, for flat binding. It doesn't have reverse this machine it's it's a, uh, a full-on production machine they a lot of them didn't have it I have a 135 that's the same sorry 135 yeah a 135 which is a free arm machine probably a similar vintage and it doesn't have uh, reverse either so but it's not not too much of an issue you just you do a couple of back stitches when you first start, so you just sort of, you know, you stitch through and then lift the foot, move it back, and then just stitch over what you've just done. And that, that works fine. So there you go. 195 K40. And for those who like serial numbers, there is the serial number. All right. Hope you have a great day.